Well, talking about menopause can be tough for both men and women. So here to share some tips on how we can get the conversation started is Dr. Diana Bittner. We always appreciate your time in studio. Good morning. Good morning. This is a big topic. And yes, it's Men's Health Month, but yeah. this is a way we can support men. And it's a question I get a lot of like, what is going on with the women in my life? Like, <laughs> how do I bring it up without yeah. getting in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. What are they noticing? Uh, maybe some moodiness, uh, some change in behavior? It's the mood stuff. It's um, the irritability. It's mm -hmm. just, just things are changing. Yeah. And it might be that she's complaining about weight gain or um, she's not sleeping as well, or especially with this heat, it's just being that extra sensitive and having hot flashes. And with hot flashes comes poor sleep, comes irritability, mm -hmm. comes weight gain, mm -hmm. and it just cascades from there. Sure, something that all women will go through. And other than hot flashes and trouble sleeping, irritability, what other symptoms to be on the lookout for if you're in perimenopause or menopause? Sure, well, one of the first symptoms is irregular periods. And with mm -hmm. that can come headaches and mood changes and night sweats. So again, poor sleep. And the problem is, is a lot of women will feel shame and feel isolated because they're like, why can't I just power through this? Why mm -hmm. can't I just, you know, eat a little bit better, yeah. do a little bit better, but it's, it's, it's more than that. Right, so eating better isn't gonna be enough to combat the symptoms of menopause. How can we treat menopause? Yeah. I mean, habits are a good foundation, right? So if you don't have those good habits of drinking lots of water, avoiding the sugar, mm -hmm being careful of how much alcohol, like those habits are a true foundation. But there's a lot of treatment options. For example, um, hormones are way safer than most people think. Mm -hmm. And if women have had breast cancer, for example, and hormones are not an option, there's so many other options. You know, if a lot of doctors don't know about it, and so if your doctor says nothing can be done, it just means that that's not in their purview. That's not something that they know about. So. We've just got to keep pushing. Yeah, no reason to have to suffer in silence. So no. women should speak with their doctor. And then what would be your advice for how men should broach the subject? Well, I think sometimes having that language of, hey, I see something's going on. How can I help? Mm -hmm. Or, hey, I heard on Fox that I'm going to go through menopause. So how about I help you with menopause and then you help me with menopause? It's just the more we can talk about it, have some curiosity, mm -hmm. have some humor, um, you know, and just, or, hey, the guys and I were talking at work and all of our wives are going through this, like mm -hmm. we know it's here. I, again, just having curiosity and humor. Yeah, I did not know man pause was a thing. So. Man pause is a thing. It just happens <laughs> 10 years later than what okay. happens to women. So, so talk to your loved ones and maybe you'll learn for what's gonna happen to you 10 years or so exactly. down the line after, after menopause for them. <laughs> yeah, so we can all be prepared. And so yeah. Jane went through all of this and just by starting that conversation, mm -hmm. she just felt relief. So mm -hmm. again, it's just starting that conversation and taking this seriously. Yeah, no shame, because like we said, all women go through this. So what is your takeaway tip? Takeaway tip is know your phase of ovarian function. Are you mm -hmm. in perimenopause? Are you in menopause? Um, and there's lots of tools online. There's, there are tools to track it. So just know what's going on with your body. Mm -hmm. Don't feel shame, get help, talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. There are it. solutions. Why talk not? Start that conversation, all Dr. Right. Bittner. Appreciate Thank your you. time as always.